And later, the gang unit gets one step closer to finding the suspected killer, Zapper. Then, in front of Javier's house, bullets fly. Everyone's trying to figure out what's going wrong in Oakland. Oakland, California. It's an area A city torn apart by an all-out gang war. And drug crimes in the past. A team of eight gang unit officers battles thousands of gang members. There are more than 22,000 people on probation and parole here. Per capita, more than any other city in America. For the gang unit, the probationers are the front line in trying to stem gang violence. Uh, he's a known Border Brother member. He's on parole for uh, shooting somebody. Yep. Known gang members on probation can be searched at any time. And any sign of gang involvement, gang colors or tattoos, is reason enough for an arrest. So gang members are constantly on post, looking out for the police, also known as 5 -0. The police is the number one enemy out here, you know, especially the OPD. Police is to pull up right now. There's no doubt in my mind they'll try to arrest every last one of us. Most of these Norteño gang members have already done time and are on either probation or parole. A stop by the police could send them straight back to jail. Just around the corner, a scout spots a police car heading their way. The gang members carrying drugs, guns, or anything else that can get them arrested scatter, while the others keep an eye on the cruiser parked just down the street. Police over there watching us right now. Watching, just watching anybody good, so you know they're just ready to blurt. The Nortenos may have escaped arrest tonight, but this is the never ending game of cat and mouse, cop versus gang, on the streets of Oakland. If you choose to, you know, come back to the same place where you where you got in trouble the first time, you probably get in trouble again. Once released, gang members rarely leave their old ways behind. Hey, can you put your dogs away? So this is how the gang unit keeps tabs on a potentially violent group of criminals. It's a series of small battles. You got to keep them on their heels. I mean, you got to let them know that, that we're out there and we're going to take them to jail any chance we get. Santa Rita Jail, the revolving door for many of Oakland's gang members. There are more than 4,000 men behind bars here. Nearly two-thirds of them have gang affiliation. The first stop for any new arrival is gang classification. Here, officers catalog tattoos, figure out what signs the inmates know, and interview them to determine what gang they belong to. Hold on. Take it you run with the uh, Serenios? Yeah. What's NK stand for? Uh, no killer. The intelligence gathered here goes beyond the walls of the jail. It is vital information to the gang unit on the street. But classification is also a key to survival in a jail that is like the streets of Oakland, dominated by one Latino gang, the Norteños. When they get into the jail, they, they got to claim, okay, if I'm a Sereno and I say I, I'm nothing, if I don't say anything and they put me in a pod with a bunch of Norteños, I'm going to get beat up. The threat of violence is a reality that forces the jail to segregate the gang members. In here, the same Latino gangs that run Oakland streets, the Norteños, the Sereños, and the Border Brothers, have their own turf assigned to them by the jail. These are our Border Brothers over here, and uh, we have our Sereños over here. The orange dictates it's the Sereños, that way we can see them, and we know that they are Sereños by just by looking at them. And there's no confusion of who they are. But segregation has a darker side. It also allows the gangs to strengthen their bonds. 
Oakland, but that's where we're from, representing Border Brothers. We're representing our people, you know, our raza, la, los Latinos and everything. Make sure, you know, there's somebody out there, you know, have their back, you know, no matter what. It is here that hierarchies are set, rituals are taught, and younger members are hardened, sized up for their crimes on the street. Sized up by gangsters like Lucky. There's some guys out there in gangs that are just just out and shooting, robbing, doing whatever they're doing just because they like it. And those are the ones that move up in the ranks, the ones that are putting in work, the ones that are actually gang banging. Those are the Nordanians we want, the ones that don't give a they don't care. That all they have is us to live, breathe, eat, and die for. Those are the ones we want. While going to jail may get the gangs off the street, it's anybody's guess as to whether the gang members come out better or whether jail just makes them worse. Up next, the gang unit sets up a stakeout to get Zapper. They're starting to show their faces. And later, a deadly Oakland tradition, the sideshow. And then, in front of Javier's house, a shootout. Any given night in Oakland, California, the sound of gunshots fills the air. I don't know, man. I don't know. I hear gunshots in the background. All I know is that, man, it's gunshots and they're giving out speeding tickets, man. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Nearly 10,000 gang members and hundreds of gangs are vying for control of the streets. Fighting against them are eight elite officers who form Oakland's gang unit. For them, it's a war that's impossible to win. We're not that big of a unit for a city this size, so we kind of got to pick and choose our battles. Right now, Sergeant Brandwood, Officer Malero, and the rest of the team are on the trail of a suspected murderer. The suspect's street name is Zapper. But after two weeks of searching, the trail seems to be going cold. Do you got his phone number? Zapper. I thought he had a cell phone phone. We have an old one. I've never tried running on an IP address on the intersect. The problem with these guys is they're, especially the Serenos, they don't leave a lot of paper trail behind them anywhere they go. So, I mean, it's just really hard to get up on these guys once they uh, don't want to get found. There's a lot of departments that go knocking on doors where this guy may be. Well, you do that and then you, you alert the guy that he's been wanted. And then next thing you know, if he goes on the run, he goes down to Mexico or somewhere and you got nothing. Zapper still has no idea he's wanted by the gang unit. And with no solid leads, Officer Malero is out patrolling known gang turf. Oh, there he is right here. And just ahead, he spots a familiar face. What's up? What's up? It's Zapper's cousin, also a known gang member. And someone that could lead the unit to Zapper. Relax. What's your name? Known gang involvement in Oakland is cause enough to get you searched. Huh? And the officers take advantage of the opportunity. You forgot about that? They find incriminating evidence. A knife and a set of jingle keys. Filed down car keys that are tools of the trade for car thieves. Well, well, well. And the young gang member is not carrying identification. Officer Malero sees an opening. You have one or two choices, okay? We can take you to jail for this, and then we know who you are, or we can t take you to somebody in this area that knows who you are, that can tell us your name. Malero comes up with a plan. Hey, here's what I'm thinking. Let's take this guy back to the house. To take the cousin to a known Sereno hangout, in hopes that Zapper might be there. The plan is a long shot, but with few clues in the case, it may be the only shot the gang unit has. They pick up the bait. Well, here's our plan. Uh, this guy's got no ID, we just stopped. He's under arrest, he's got a bunch of jingle keys. Uh, we've stopped him before in front of 58th Avenue, and we know there's people there that can give us his name. So we're hoping that in doing so, and, and getting him ID'd, uh, 
there may be a murder suspect that walks out of that house. Keep your eyes peeled. How you doing? 